كان عن يو كي اوكي لا اظن على هذا الموضوع احنا نا. we have been very shocked by this verdict uh, this really draconian verdict against a british academic uh, matthew hedges did not receive a fair trial uh, whatsoever um, based on any any standards um, his trial has been marred with due process violations he was arrested and kept in solitary confinement for over six months or the majority of the time that he was in detention he did not get access to legal counsel uh, did not get access to to his family to British consular representatives um, you know the charges are based on his confession which was revealed in a five-minute hearing yesterday uh, um, that it was a piece a piece of paper a document that he had signed uh, um, in, in the first days of his detention when he was effectively disappeared in Arabic, a language that he does not speak. Uh, um, so definitely this trial does not meet international standards. He did not get a fair trial uh, um, and, and we really hope that he can, he can be home soon. Uh, the Emirati authorities, you know, the, Matthew, Matthew Hedges' case is not the first uh, uh, such case in the UAE. They have been launching a sustained assault on freedom of expression since 2011. Uh, uh, they have targeted, arrested, prosecuted uh, uh, journalists, academics, uh, uh, human rights activists and dissidents. Um, and, and, and with no discernible consequences whatsoever. Uh, um, so, uh, but, but at the same time, they claim to be this, this global uh, education and cultural hub. They claim to be a progressive and tolerant nation. And this verdict, as with others before it, and as with other prosecutions, unjust prosecutions before it, very much proves that this is not the case. The UAE is not the tolerant and progressive nation that it claims to be. It is actually a very authoritarian state where violations of due process occur, where there's a fundamental lack of respect for the rule of law. And as we see with this recent case, life in prison for a young academic, it, it, it has an utter disregard uh, for academic freedoms. Uh, very limited access with family and, and, and uh, British consular representatives. Uh, the UK has responded pretty strongly. Uh, Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt uh, has said that they are extremely disappointed by this. Uh, by this verdict, that, that they will do their best uh, to get Matt back to his family. Uh, um, unfortunately, though, this response comes a little too late. Uh, British authorities have been silent for too long on this case. Uh, um, uh, they have not spoken out. They have tried to privately do advocacy with the UAE authorities, and that has obviously had no impact uh, whatsoever, as we see from, from yesterday's verdict. Uh, and so I think this is this case shows that it is it is time for 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 uh, the British authorities to uh, speak even more broadly on human rights issues in the Gulf to really stand by their commitments uh, to expanding human rights, the respect for human rights around the world. Okay.